Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to a new day of classes, everyone. Okay, thank you for attending to the third week of classes. We are in the in the second day of the third week of classes. Thank you for attending to today's class. And today we continue with the simple past, everybody. Okay. Do you remember when we use the simple past? Does anybody have an idea? When we use the simple past? Huh? Any idea? When we use the simple past, everyone? Can you tell me, please? Uh, regular verbs. Okay, we use it when we talk about the past. And we have two different verbs. What are the two different verbs that we have, everybody? Hello, good evening. Uh -huh. Can you tell me, please, what are the two formal verbs that we have? Uh -huh. Can you tell me, everybody? We have two big groups of verbs. What are these verbs? ¿Cuáles son estos dos tipos de verbos que tenemos? Ajá, uh -huh, everybody. Do you remember? ¿Quién se acuerda de los dos grupos? Irregular. Ok, irregular and? Irregular. Irregular and regular. Perfect, very good. Ok, so we have two different types of verbs. We have regular verbs. And we have irregular verbs. Okay, what is the characteristic of the regular verbs, everybody? Okay, let me show you at this moment. Let me show you here. So these are the two big groups, observe please. Okay. These are the two big groups that we have, regular and irregular verbs. You see, the irregular verbs are very simple. Okay. We only include ED like this. Okay. We only include ED. Okay. And for the irregular verbs, Okay, they are totally different. Okay, they are totally different. Because the verb changes completely. For example, pay attention to the case of go. What is the simple pass for go? Simple pass for go is went. Went, yes. The simple pass for go. Okay, the simple pass is went. Okay, what is the simple pass for the verb do? The simple pass is the. Okay. And then we have, for example, buy, verbo comprar. The simple pass is boat. And remember that we were studying the time expressions too. Estábamos estudiando las expresiones de tiempo. The time expressions. Observe, please, everybody. For example, you say yesterday. This is the most common. Ayer. For example, I went to the supermarket yesterday. Yo fui al supermercado ayer. Uh, last week, for example. Last week, I did the homework. Okay, last summer, last summer, I bought a new computer, etc. Okay, remember when we use last, we can use it in different time expressions. For example, last week, last year, el año pasado, la semana pasada, diciembre pasado, last December. 
okay, my last month, excellent. Or you can use it, for example, my last birthday, my last birthday, a last, the last class, for example, la clase pasada, etc. But now when we use the word ego, ego is totally different, okay, ego. It's very similar when we say in Spanish, hace, hace diez años. In Spanish, we, we say that, hace diez años. But in English, we use 10 years ago. Hace dos semanas, two weeks ago. Hace seis días, six days ago, etc. Okay, and then, we have the time expression at the end of the sentence. Generalmente va al final. Al final de la idea que estamos expresando. Okay, for example, we say, eh, I did the homework yesterday. Yo hice la tarea ayer. I went to New York last year. Yo fui a Nueva York el año pasado, etc. And remember, it's important here, the verbs. Y aquí la importancia de los verbos. Verbs. You see? They are very, very important here. ¿Y cómo diferenciar cuando es regular y cuando es irregular? Aprendiéndose los irregulares. Si ya sé que es irregular, no está en la lista, entonces es regular. Very simple. Okay, everybody. So, this is the, the rule for the regular verbs. Observe, please. This is the rule for the regular verbs. And the majority of the verb, we only include ed. Visited, started, finished, worked, wanted, listened, etc. When the verb is ending with the letter E, cuando termina con la letra E, okay, no problem. We only include D. Love, leave, close, light, etc. But be careful. If the verb is ending with consonant Y, si el verbo termina con consonante Y, we have to omit Y. Omitimos la Y. And then we include I, E, D. Okay, study, study. Try, try. Okay, si termina con vocal Y, no problem. Observe, please. Play, play. Enjoy, enjoy. So be careful. And the column number four, everybody. When we have a short verb, and the verb is ending with consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay, so we have to double the last consonant. Tenemos que doblar la última consonant. Okay, we have to double the last consonant. Okay, entonces esas son las reglas de los verbos regulares. Okay, the regular verbs. Okay, and yesterday we assigned a little homework. Ayer asignamos una pequeña tarea, ¿no? Remember, it's important, it's really, really important to learn the irregular verbs. Es extremadamente importante aprenderse los verbos irregulares. And yesterday we had a list. Ayer presentamos una lista. Okay, everybody, this is the list. Observe, please. This is the list, everybody. Okay, si usted se aprende los verbos hoy, en este módulo, le va a servir para el número 4, 5, 6 y el resto. Okay, if you don't learn the irregular verbs, you will have problems. So remember, everybody, it's necessary to learn the, the regular and the irregular verbs. ¿Cómo se ve diferenciarlo? Aprendiéndonos esta lista. 
okay, aprendiendo los verbos que están en esta lista. Ok. Now, everybody, let's practice the pronunciation of these verbs. The first column, everybody. La primera columna. Okay. Listen and repeat after me. But it's not necessary to turn on the microphone. No es necesario que encienda el micrófono. Just listen to me and practice. Okay. Be, was, were. Become, became. Begin, began. Bite, beat. Blow, blew. Break, broke. Okay, bring, broke. Build, built. Buy, boat. Can, could. Catch, cut. Choose, chose. Come, came. Cost, cost. Cut, cut. Do, did. Draw, drew. Drink, drank. Drive, draw. Eat, ate. Fall, fell. Feed, fed. Feel, felt. Find, found. Fly, flew. Forget, forgot. Freeze, froze. Get, got. Give, uh, gave. Go, went. How, how. Hear, and hurt. Okay, everybody, pay attention to the first half. Veamos la primera mitad. Okay, do you have doubts about the pronunciation of the meaning of the verbs? ¿Tiene duda con la pronunciación o el significado de alguno de estos verbos? Uh -huh. well, ya se los aprendió todos. No, para nada. Okay, very good. So, for example, the number one, B is, was, were. The verb was to be in pasado. Begin, began, comenzar. Bite, beat. This is morder. Blow, blue. This is soplar. Then break, broke. Romper, quebrar. Bring, broke. This is traer, etc. ¿Ok? Entonces, ya vamos a preguntar estos verbos. En la primera columna, esa era la tarea que les habíamos asignado. ¿Ok, everybody? Now, pay attention to the actions you did this morning. Pay attention to the actions you did this morning. ¿Qué acciones hizo esta mañana usted? ¿Ok? Look at the picture, please. Look at the screen. Let me show you here. Okay, observe, please. Okay, what did you do today? ¿Qué acciones realizó hoy? For example, observe, please. I got up at 6 a.m. I took a shower, I cooked breakfast, I ate breakfast. I wash the dishes, I watch the news, I took the bus, I went to work, I had lunch. Okay, these are some actions you did today. Acciones que yo realicé este día. Okay, so the first action is I got up. I got up. Okay, everybody. You have to tell me four or five actions you did this morning or this afternoon. Usted me va a dar seis, cinco o seis acciones que hizo hoy por la tarde. Okay? We have more. Observe, please. All right? Check. Social networks, for example. Revisé mis redes sociales. So the verb check is regular. Okay, 
What is other action? For example, when you say I talk with my friends, we are using the verb talk. The past is great. I drove to work. Everybody, you see, we have different actions here. Different actions. See? And the question is, what did you do today? ¿Qué hizo usted el día de hoy? What did you do today? ¿Sí? La primera acción es, ¿a qué horas me levanté? What time? Did you get up? And then you conclude with four more actions, everybody. Yo le pregunto, y luego esta pregunta, what did you do today? Lo primero que me va a decir es, I got up. I got up at 4 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. And after that, you continue with four more actions. I don't report the Lord. Okay, I took a shower, I cooked breakfast, I ate breakfast, I washed the dishes, I watched the beam, I took the bus, I went to work, I did the homework, for example. Okay, here the verb is do. Or you can say, for example, I brushed my teeth. Me cepillé los dientes. The verb brush is regular. See, these are the verbs. Okay, take a look at the actions, everybody. Okay, and in a minute, I will ask you questions. You know what I say esa pregunta? Y usted me las, me responde. Okay, you have to give me five actions, at least. Five actions. For example, I say, what did you do today? Ah, I got up at 5 a.m. I took a shower, I ate breakfast, I took the bus, I went to work, I had lunch. Okay, remember the first action is I got up. Okay, I got up at 6 a.m. Okay, and then four more actions, everybody. Four more actions. Here you can say, for example, I got dressed. Me vestí. So again, this is the simple pass form. Get. Okay, ready everybody? Let's do it. Let's do it in this moment. Okay, let's start with uh, uh, Ibis. What did you do this morning, Ibis? What did you do today? I 
Hello, Ibis, can you hear me? Okay, so let's continue with a different class. Let's see, Evelyn, Evelyn Enriquez, can you hear me? Hello, Evelyn? Yes, teacher. What did you do today? Hola. What did you do today? Or, uh, and I took a shower. I took a shower. Uh -huh. My breakfast. Uh -huh. and then I I went to work. Mm -hmm. And the boss. Okay, one more action, please. One more. Okay, I think that she had problems with her internet connection. So let's continue with Lourdes. Lourdes, what did you do today? Continue, please. First, I wore at a six a.m. Later, I took a shower. So I got dressed and I went to work. Finally, I checked my email. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. Now, Carla. Carla Torres, what did you do today? I got up at 6 p.m. I took a shower, um, ate breakfast, coffee and bread, and washing the dishes. I worked in my house. I took in chicken and rice. Okay, very good. Five actions. Thank you, Carla. Now let's continue with Katia, Katia Monterosa. What did you do today? I got up at 6.30 a.m. I went out with my dog. I cleaned my, the house. I ate breakfast. I had a virtual work. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya Rivas, what did you do today? I got up at 8 a.m. Um, and I ate pupusas for breakfast. Um, I went to study in INSA for this afternoon, and finally I checked social network. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Kenya. Now let's continue with Kayla. Kayla Patricia, what did you do today? I got up at 9 a.m. I brushed my teeth. I took a shower. I ate breakfast. I did the homework. I washed the dishes. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Now let's see Maribel. Maribel Pineda. What did you do today, Maribel? Uh, I go, go, go at um, um, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I um, uh, look uh, no, uh, I look the shower. I took the shower. Um, okay. I took the boots, the boots. 
I took the bus. Um, I work in um, I had a long uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Maribel. Now let's continue with uh, Jose Sol. What did you do today, Jose? Get up um, 5 a.m. I took the bus. I went to work. E I had lunch. And you had lunch. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jose. Now let's continue with uh, Santiago. Santiago, what did you do today, Santiago? I got up at, at 6, 6 a.m. I ate, ate breakfast. I brushed my teeth. I worked on my computer. I took a shower. I checked my social network. I feed the dog. I cleaned the house. And you cleaned the house too. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Santiago. Okay, and Ibis, can you hear me, Ibis? Hello, Ibis? Now, let's see, Evelyn, can you hear me? Okay, so, okay, Evelyn, what did you do today, Evelyn? Let's see, I got up at 5 a.m. Uh -huh. I took a shower and ate my breakfast. And after that, I went to my work. And then I I drink my I drink coffee. And you drank coffee. Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Now, everybody, let's continue with a different topic. Okay, a simple. Now let's continue with the negative form. Okay, we have the negative form. You see, we have didn't. We have didn't. The auxiliary didn't. And then the verb returns to the original form. Okay, in the, for example, in the platform, uh, you were working with uh, similar exercises. So you have the subject. You have the auxiliary. In this case, is the auxiliary is didn't. And after that, the verb returns to the original form. Don't forget it, please. The verb regresa a su forma original. Okay, let me show you here in this moment. So this structure in the negative is very, very simple, everybody. Let me show you here. It's very simple. We have the auxiliary didn't, and the verb in the base form. The verb returns to the original form. For example, I, I, I say, I went to the supermarket yesterday. This is an affirmative. I went to the supermarket. The negative is I didn't go to the supermarket. I didn't go to the supermarket. I ate pizza for lunch. 
in the negative, I didn't eat pizza for lunch. So you see, it's very, very simple. It's very simple, the way we express. Now, pay attention to these examples. Pay attention to these examples, please. Okay, let's see. Uh, Lourdes Hernandez, can you read the first two examples, please? Read them. I, well, I didn't go no. to the church. No, no the, the first one, the ones that you see in the picture. I went to New York last night. Okay, okay. I went to New York last night. I didn't go to New York last night. Okay, what is the verb, Lourdes? Um, en el primero es went. Okay. En el segundo, go. And the second one is didn't go. You see, everybody? The verb returns to the original form. Didn't go. Okay, now let's see, uh, Jose, the part two, please. Lisa ate cornflakes for breakfast. Lisa didn't eat cornflakes for. For breakfast, okay. Lisa ate cornflakes, so you see the verb is irregular, ate. And then we have the negative form. In the negative form, the verb, returns to the original form, okay? Now, Kenya, the part three, please, read it. We cooked chicken last night. We didn't cook chicken last night. Okay, in the part three, everybody, we have the regular verb, cooked, ed, but in the negative, the verb, is in the base form. We didn't cook. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Now we have, let me see, Santiago. Santiago, read the part number four, please. Peter saw a movie in, the, in cinema last week. Peter didn't see a movie, a movie in cinema last week. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Santiago. So, as you can see, we are using the verb in the past. See, is in the present, so is in the past. Peter saw a movie in cinema last week. In the negative, Peter didn't see a movie. It's an irregular verb again. And now, let's see Tamara. Read the last two parts, please. My father washes the car last Friday. My father didn't wash the car last Friday. Okay, very good, thank you. So, as you can see, the verb is regular, washed. And in the negative, my father didn't wash the car last night. Okay, everybody. Now, this is a, this is a, a kind of interesting activity. I will give you the sentence in affirmative and you transform it to negative. Yo le doy la oración en afirmativo y usted la transforma en negativo. En afirmativo y usted la transforma a negativo. Okay? Let's see. Kayla. Kayla Lopez. Kayla, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Kayla, listen to this. I ate pizza yesterday. Negative? I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Perfect. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you very much for your participation. Now let's continue with Tamara. Tamara. Lisa drank coffee yesterday. Negative? Lisa didn't drink coffee? Coffee. Yesterday. Yesterday. 
Okay, thank you, Tamara. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Santiago. Santiago, Alex bought a new house. Negative? Repeat, please. Alex bought a new house. Alex didn't buy a new house. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Santiago. Now, Jose. Jose. Yes. Jennifer went to Canada last year. Mm, Jennifer didn't go uh, to Canada. Last year. Last year. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. Now let's continue well. with uh, Maribel. Maribel, I ate tacos last night. Negative. Uh, negative order. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. I I didn't eat tacos yesterday. Okay. I didn't eat. I didn't eat tacos last night. Last night is a time expression. Okay. Thank you, Maribel. Now let's see Kenya. Kenya, my brother. My brother drank beers last weekend. My brother drank beers last weekend. Negative. My brother didn't drink beer uh, last weekend, dijo, verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, Kenny. Thank you very much. Now let's see Katia, Katia Monterosa. Listen, uh, Roger bought a new laptop yesterday. Roger bought a new laptop yesterday. Roger didn't buy a new laptop yesterday. Excellent. So this is the negative form. Thank you. Thank you, Katia. Now let's see Carla. Carla Torres. I went to Brazil last vacations. I didn't go to Brazil. Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. Last vacations. Last? Vacations. Vacation. Yes. I didn't go to Brazil. I didn't go to Brazil last vacation. Vacations, perfect. Thank you, Carla. Excellent. Now let's continue with load this. Load this. My parents ate sushi last night. My parents didn't eat sushi last night. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's see, Evelyn. I cooked pasta for dinner. I cooked pasta for dinner. I didn't cook pasta for dinner. Okay, very good, thank you. And Iris, I ate cornflakes. I didn't cook pasta for dinner. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Evelyn. Now let's see, Iris. Iris, can you hear me? Okay, maybe Iris still has problems with her device. Okay, everybody, let's continue with a different activity here. A very practical activity here. Now, my routine before work. Pay attention to this, everybody. My routine before work. Mi rutina antes del trabajo. This morning, everybody. Okay, pay attention, please. I got up at 5 a.m. This is the first activity in the morning, right? After I took a shower, 
I got dressed. Después me bañé. Me vestí. I didn't have breakfast. I just drank a cup of coffee. Okay. I went to work at 6 a.m. I went to work at 6 a.m. Me fui al trabajo a las 6 a.m. Okay, everybody. So how many actions can we see here? I got up, I took a shower, I got dressed, I didn't have breakfast, I just ran a cup of coffee, I went to work at 6 a.m. And then I include other information here. I brush my teeth. And then I went to work at 6 a.m. Okay. Ahora, ¿cuál es su rutina? What is what was your routine this morning, everybody? ¿Cuál fue su rutina esta mañana? Entonces me voy al chat general y ahí voy a escribir mi rutina. Observe everybody, in my case, este es el mío. This is my routine. I got up at 5 a.m. After I took a shower, I got dressed, I didn't have breakfast, I just drank a cup of coffee, I brushed my teeth, I went to work at 6 a.m. Desde que yo me levanté, pongo la hora. Luego, termino poniendo la hora que me fui a trabajar. Okay, everybody, let's do it, please. Let's do it. Aquí está la línea que debe seguir, miren. Okay, write information in the chat, please. Write information in the chat. Hello, Ibis. Mama, ¿dónde vas? Okay, everybody, write the information in the chat, please. The first action, I got up at 4 a.m. I got up at 6 a.m. I got up at 7 a.m. After that, what did you do? Después de eso, ¿qué hizo? I took a shower. I went to the gym. I ate breakfast. I drank coffee. I brushed my teeth. And the last action, I went to work at 5 or 6 a.m., for example. We write the information in the chat, everybody. Okay, we have got this information. I got up at 5 a.m. After I brushed my teeth, I took a shower, I got dressed. I didn't have breakfast. I went to work at 6 a.m. Perfect. The word is, I got up at 6 a.m. Later, I took a shower. After that, I got dressed. I went to work and I checked my email. Finally, I took a break. Tamara? I got up at 7 a.m. after I took a shower, got dressed, probably. I didn't cook breakfast. I bought pupusas. I brushed my teeth. I went to school with my son. Okay, Jose, I got up at 4.30 a.m. after I took a shower. I got dressed. I went to work at 6 a.m. That's right.
Okay, everybody, continue, please. Continue. Your routine this morning. Okay, Carla, I got up at 6 a.m. After I took a shower, I got dressed. I didn't have breakfast. I work in my house in virtual class at 9 a.m. Very good. Kayla, I got up at 7 a.m. I took a shower. I brushed my teeth. I got dressed. I drank a cup of coffee. I brushed my teeth. I went to work at 8 a.m. Okay, Santiago, I got up at 6 a.m. After I took a shower, I ate breakfast. I didn't drink coffee for the breakfast. I brushed my teeth. I went to work on the computer at 8 a.m. That's correct. Okay, everybody, so as you can see, we are using a combination. Verbs in the past, regular verbs and regular verbs. It's a combination. Okay, Kenya, I got up at 6 a.m. After I brushed my teeth, I didn't cook breakfast because my mom cooked pupus for breakfast. I took a shower and I got dressed. I went to work at 8 a.m. Okay, everybody, let's continue. Let's continue. Now you have to read the information and practice the pronunciation of the, of the activities you did this morning. Okay, pay attention to the screen and try to remember the activities that you include. Trate de acordarse las actividades que incluyó. Okay, observe, please. So let's start with uh, Kayla. Tell me about your routine this morning, Kayla, please. I got up at 7 a.m. after I took a shower. I brushed my teeth. I got dressed. I drank a cup of coffee. I brushed my teeth. I went to work at 8 a.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Kayla. Now, Tamara, describe your routine this morning, please. What did you do this morning? I get up, got up at 
seven a.m. After the I took the shower. Um, I I go a uh, dress. I go dress. Huh? I didn't cut breakfast and I bought the pussas mm -hmm. and I brushes my my teeth. Uh, and I went to school my thumb. And you went to school with your son. Okay. Thank you, Tamara. Now let's see, Santiago. What was your routine this morning, Santiago? I got up at 6 a.m. after I took a shower. I ate breakfast. I didn't drink coffee for the breakfast. I brushed my teeth. I went to work on the computer at 8 a.m. Okay, very good, thank you. Now let's see uh, Jose, Jose Sol. I get up um, 30 past four and I took a shower I went to work at um, 6 a.m. And I just drank a cup of the cho the chocolate. A cup of hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. OK, very good. And thank you, Jose. Now, let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya, describe your routine this morning, please. I got up at 6 a.m. after I brushed my teeth and I ate pupusas for breakfast. I took a shower and I got dressed and I went to work at 8 a.m. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you very much. Katya, describe your routine this morning, please. I got up at 6.30 a.m. I brushed my teeth. I went out with my dog. Okay. I clean, clean my house. I a shower uh -huh. then i i uh, got dressed and i had a virtual work meeting okay very good thank you Kata. thank you very much for describing your routine let's see now Kata, describe your routine please mm -hmm. I got up at 6 a.m. After I took a shower, I got dressed. I didn't I didn't have breakfast and I working in my house in virtual class at 9 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Thank you for your description. Now let's continue with uh, Lourdes. Describe your routine, please. Okay. I got up at 6 a.m. Later, I took a shower and got dressed. And I went to work. Later, I checked my email. Finally, I took a break. You took a break. Very good. Now, Emily. I got up. 5 a.m. I took a shower, then I brush my, my teeth, and after I got dressed, then I went to my work, and I ate my breakfast. You ate your breakfast at work. 
Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Now, Iris, describe your routine this morning, Iris. Okay, maybe she still has problems with her internet. So, everybody, this is the way we use the a we use the past simple. Remember, an essential part of the past simple is the verbs, the reg the regular verbs. Let me share with you. Okay, observe everybody the regular verbs. Please try to learn them. Study and learn the verbs, please. Study y trate de aprender los verbos irregulares. This will be useful for you today in level four, level five, level six, in all the different levels. They will be very important for you. Okay, so please don't forget to study them. And for tomorrow, for tomorrow we are going to continue with the questions. Okay, everybody, now the last activity, the last activity of the day. I want you to please complete these ideas. Complete the ideas that we have here. Okay. Let's see, Kayla, number two. Complete the idea, please. Tell me, Kayla. She played volleyball last Saturday. Excellent. Okay, Tamara, number three. We say um, UFO. UFO last night. Ah, but in this case, it's so. So, we saw a UFO last night. Nosotros vimos. The past simple of C is so. Okay. Uh, Santiago, number four, please. She to dance it. Dance, dance. Danced, uh huh? Very well last sun, Sunday night. Excellent, very good. Now, Jose, number five, please. Jose, hello, number five, it's for you. Hi, thanks. No, number five, a letter. Mm. I written. I know, this case is the past simple for write. Observe, please. The simple past for write is wrote, like this. Wrote, right? No. Wrote, that's right. Mm. Okay, so. Entonces sería, I wrote a letter to the president last month. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Jose. I wrote a letter to the president last month. Okay. okay now let's continue with, uh, let's see. Kenya, uh, continue, please. Number six, Kenya. My father worked at a bank in, no sé cómo se dice, 2010. Ah, 2010. 2010. 2010. That's right. Okay. Now, number seven, Katia Monterrosa. Number seven. He slept on all the night. He slept all the night. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. He slept all the night. Let's see. Uh, Lourdes, number eight. My sister did to go in a yesterday. My sister went, went. The passing pool for girls went. My sister went to go in a yesterday. That's right. Okay, Emily, number nine. Hello, Emily. 
Hello, teacher. What is the pronunciation? The the F the Fs? Thieves. Thieves. The thieves steal the pan last week. Okay, it's by steal is a irregular verb. The past simple for steal is stole. Stole the stole. bank. The bank last week. Okay. Okay. Now let's see and uh, uh, Santiago, one more time. Number 10, please. Uh, John. Cry. Cried. Very good. Remember, you have to eliminate Y and then include I E D. Cry. Cry a lot when he thing lost the game. That's right. Very good. And Kenya, number 11, please. Okay, Kenya, the last one, please. Perdón, no me entendí. Okay, the last one, number 11. Complete the last one. Uh, Fernanda spoke in Spanish with Shakira before the show. That's right, okay, thank you. Okay, everybody, so today we practice the verbs, okay? The regular verbs and the regular verbs. And we practice the affirmative form and the negative form in the simple past. For tomorrow, we continue with the questions, okay? Thank you for attending tonight's class and see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night.